Hey, hey, and welcome back, everybody, to some more Tinkertown. Um, if you're new to the channel, then thank you very much for stopping by, and do consider subscribing for more. Um, beyond that, welcome back, and uh, I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I kind of want to do, I'm hoping, a series within a series. I know, mind-blowing. Um, uh, one of the greatest things about Tinkertown that I very much have enjoyed is the building aspect to this. So it's fairly simple, yet uh, there's a lot of cool different designs that you can do. Everything from flooring to walls to uh, carpets to, I don't know, chairs and tables and all that jazz. The list goes on and on and on. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to break all that up and actually do a bit of a little series dedicated to building. Now, I've already gone out and farmed a whole ton of stuff and got a bunch of stuff cleared out. I also came here and we are on our own kind of personal private island, as you can see in the bottom right corner. Uh, it, I cleared this all out. It was all trees and grass and all kinds of goodies down here. So the only thing that is, is that we still get some guys that spawn every now and then. Um, I just take care of them until we get some of the... Uh, uh, some of the torches put down that help to prevent enemies from spawning. So, like this little guy right here. Where are you going? So, that being said, I have already started uh, just putting some of these floors down. I'm going to take you guys through and show you uh, the flooring and the walls in the first episode. And my hope is that we're actually going to make this out into a series of a few different episodes. And by the end, this whole island is going to be its own sustainable little village. And it's going to have all the different parts and stuff to it. So I've gone through and like I said, I've already picked up a whole bunch of stuff here. So we're going to grab... Uh, a couple of these are going to have the same flooring because there's not flooring for every element. So right now there is no flooring for a uh, cactus build, uh, which is probably good because I don't know too many people that want to walk around on cactus and pull in little needles out of their feet. Uh, and there's not one for ice, so which again in turn kind of <laughs> makes sense because It'd be like an ice rink if you had flooring for ice. So, um, so we're gonna use we're gonna double up on a bit of the flooring here. So, um, I already got some of this wood and pine wood, limestone, sandstone, sandstone being one of the longest to try to get. Oh my god! <laughs> I need so much sand. But I'll show you guys how it works. So I've already just kind of made up a little spot here. Uh, I think it's nine by seven tiles wide for most of them, except for this one down here, because I was starting to <laughs> run out of a bit of room. So, uh, and all you do is you just put your flooring in your hot bar, same with your walls, everything else. And you just come along and you can actually hold down your mouse button and you can just take the flooring and go all the way around. I just do this for just kind of quick. Oh, I did not estimate that well enough. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna have to build some more floor for that, but yeah, apparently I don't know how to count either. All right, so this one I think is here. Yeah, there we go, okay. Did I count this one correctly? Hey, I got five left. What was I doing when I was counting earlier? Wow, okay. Uh, I feel like we could make this one a little bit longer since it's not quite as wide as the rest. We got our limestone. now. Your different floorings. So, I apologize, I'm jumping around a little bit. Uh, so your wood floor, your palm floor, and your pine floor are all created out of the workbench. Uh, same with all the walls and the doors and everything that coincide with all of this uh, for all these different types of woods. Um, your workbench is just built on your person. I think it takes, uh, what is it, 10 wood? 10 wood to make one. Now, each individual floor, if you're looking here, wooden floor is one piece of wood. Palm floor is one piece of palm wood, which is you can obtain in the desert. And the floor for frost pine wood is, you guessed it, in the tundra. Now, we're going to come down here and we're going to grab some wood flooring and we're going to fill this one in. And you can kind of hear that sort of like a drum sound. Man, again, I was way off. 
I don't know what I was doing. All right, we'll grab the limestone. Um, that drumming noise just basically means you can't put another piece over top of another piece. So get out of here, Mr. Bat. There we go. And we're going to do this. Okay, well, I almost got that one perfectly. Uh, all right, so that's your limestone. Now, limestone, sandstone. I'll actually show you guys. We need two, four, six pieces of that one. So, sandstone floor and limestone floor were both added when they brought out the ancient table. Now, I apologize because I know the ancient table or ancient workbench here was unlocked. And I believe I unlocked it from the desert dungeon, but I'm not 100% certain. And I went online to go see if I could figure out where it is that you actually unlock it from, and I don't remember. So, apologize for that. I know it has something to do with the desert and desert dungeon. Um, but once you do get it, you unlock, you have access to a whole bunch of cool desert patterns. Um, today, we're just particularly looking at the sandstone floor and the limestone floor. So sandstone floor is four pieces of sand per. I think I said we needed six more. Uh, limestone, we're good. We don't need any more. Um, but it is sand, one piece, and it is two pieces of bone in order to make one piece of limestone floor. So uh, if you're playing this game, don't throw away your bones that you come across out there in the world that you get from the skeletons and stuff uh, if you plan on doing anything limestone-wise. So again, just on your hotbar, and away you go. Now, what did I use for here? I feel like, is that the pine floor? It looks, so this is in fact pine floor. Yeah, but it, I, I don't know. It looks almost identical, and we're gonna run out of this one too. <laughs> um, it looks identical to wood to me. I don't really know what the difference is. Maybe it's just the fact that you can use the different types of woods in order to make the floors, um, but it does look the same. So uh, that being said, we've got over here where we've got, this one here is gonna be our actual wood house that we're gonna build. This one here is built out of, stone this one's a stone floor this one's cobblestone floor and there's a third one so so there's natural stone floor which is one stone and then just plain stone floor is one stone and then cobblestone floor is one stone as well each one of them just giving a different texture depending upon which one you choose so I personally really like the cobblestone floor um, I laid down still have it here this one here so I laid down the natural stone floor I don't feel like doing a house out of it and this was why so when I started putting this down the way that the grass shows through it it looks like made it look like to me like it was more of a pathway stone than an actual stone floor that you would put in a house like you can even see those little designs underneath it if I go like that you can see that kind of orange and reddish hinge come through so I'm gonna use this as a uh, stone walkway that's actually going to come along and in the end is going to connect all of our different houses through here that's gonna be our pathway so not using it for housing so we should have all of our flooring laid yeah perfect okay time for some walls so we'll start with the wood the basic wood walls so I'm going to go from where the door would be. And again, you can also hold down your mouse button. Oh, okay. Now, if you run into this where you accidentally put down an extra wall, you just have to come along with a piece of equipment that can knock it out and you'll be able to pick it back up and reuse it again. Super handy. Okay, now did I actually count this out correctly? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is our basic wood right here so your stone walls you can build regular stone walls which I have done and then you have the ability to build the big stone walls so just give me a second as I'm trying to think here as I match those up there we go and then you have the ability to make these now I wouldn't I mean if you want to go for a tall castle look you can build the whole thing in these. What I do is, on a couple of my builds, I do that. 
So I just put them in the corners. And to me, it just gives it a little bit of depth. And then this one was going to be our pine wall. So same thing, we're gonna go around. Here we go. Oh yeah, almost had it. There we go. Perfect, there we go. Now does that? Now I don't know, I haven't built with pine, so does that look like the same as what's up here? Uh, hmm, verdict. I mean, they're very close. They're very, very similar, so, okay. Haha, sandstone. So we have sandstone wall, we have limestone wall. Okay. So. Ooh, that one. One up with that one. Lags a little bit every once in a while, and then it just moves. Okay. Okay, and sandstone. This one I think will have a bit of extra on. Let's do that. Again, this is a smaller place just because we were running out of room. So a couple extra walls there. Okay, now I'll show you walls. So your wooden walls, they're one piece of wood. Your palm walls are one piece of palm wood. Pine walls are one piece of frost. Now, did I make palm walls? Maybe that's what I'm missing. So bring these over here. We're going to be a little bit short, but that's okay. I'll fill them in, fill in the gaps afterwards. So palm walls, crate all. I love that craft all button there. And then if you come over here, uh, same thing. Your stone walls over here, or sandstone walls, sorry. This took me forever. I had to go get six pieces of sand per one wall. So much sand. That took me a while. And then your limestone walls, same thing as your floors. They require bones to make. So you got two pieces of sand and four bones to make those. And you come over here and stone. So this is where I was talking about the stone. So you got stone walls, one stone. You can make pillars. I tend to stay away from the pillars and just my own personal preference. And then you get the stone walls big, which I put on the corners. Okay, back down this way. And we're gonna come put down some palm walls. I guess we're gonna go this way with it. Because I can't really put a door down on the water. All right, so we're a little short. That's okay, like I said, I'll fill in the gaps afterwards. We'll be good to go. Now I have two more bits left. So I have, uh, what do I have? I have the wall, snow and ice walls, and then I have the cactus walls. So I, I honestly don't know what's gonna look better. Cactus with that or cactus with that. So let's do, well, let's clear you out of the way first. Get a pain in my ass. So let's do, now that being said, of course, as soon as I put this up, then I don't have access to these. All right, so let's put our cactus with wood. How does that look? I just sort of chose what I had an abundance of for materials. I feel like I might have, there. All right, cool, so we got that. Now, the ice and snow, just for the sake of using both of them, I did ice all the way, uh, like, nope, nope, not like that. Oh my goodness, okay. And then I wanna do this on the front. Yeah, there we go. So ice on the back and snow on the front. Kinda like a backwards mullet, I don't know. Uh, all right, so just to change up the textures, so now we've got that. And then, I made us a few doors. So we will throw what we've got for doors to kind of match so far. And we've got an ice door there. Oh, that's pretty cool, I like the look of that one. Uh, our wood door, right here. Put that on our wood house. All right, so uh, let's take care of you first. There we go. Pine door there. I'll put the palm door down even though 
we're not quite there yet. There is no sandstone or limestone doors. So uh, what there is, is there's actually desert doors. Now that being said, okay, so there's a cactus door. So now we're going to have to find another spot to put our tables down, which I feel like will be over here. Okay. So we've got our furnace, got our ancient table, and we've got our refrigerator. So as I was saying about the doors, um, as I, I, I use them up already, So, but as I get going through the desert dungeon some more, as I'm still working on finishing and completing that so I can get it up for you guys, I got part one so far, but as I finish going through the rest of it, um, picking up rubies, so there's a small temple door and large temple door. So the only difference is, is the amount that it takes to build it, so 50 sand and 4 rubies versus 30 sand and 2 rubies. Um, and the large ones are two spaces wide, small ones are one space wide. So um, when I get into doing some of the decorating, I'm going to grab some more like the emeralds and stuff like that. And I'm going to play around with some of the pillars and put in a bit of pillars just to decorate. So uh, that being said, guys, that is just kind of a quick bit of a building video quick tutorial just to cover off some of the different types of materials that you can build with um and i think this was as of i mean really i think the desert stuff was added in about 0.7 if memory serves me correctly um that stuff sand is all collected in the desert along with cactus uh your your ice walls is just snow and snow is unlocked in the tundra uh looking at one piece of snow for a wall the door takes some snow and some stone stone's very easy to collect anywhere um and then you unlock your fridge once you collect your snowballs in the uh in the tundra in the snow biome so um that being said that's going to do it for this video next one i'm going to go do some more work behind the scenes collect up a bunch more materials uh lay down a bit more path um if you guys are following if you're playing and if you're following along um let me know what you think as far as putting in the the decorations so i'm going to put in a bunch of the furniture within the different places uh if you care to see if i keep it as the same furniture so wood with wood uh snow with the snow building or if you want to see them mixed up like snow with cactus and wood with stone and all that kind of stuff so other than that i'm just going to play around and just kind of tweak a little bit here in behind the scenes and then once I get everything built up, I'll bring you guys back for another video and I'll showcase some of the items that you can decorate with. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, otherwise have an awesome day and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.